Hello lovely people. I thought I'd do for the beginning of March a tarot card reading. I haven't done one in a while and I keep meaning to do them but um, well I have done one now. So this is for the beginning of March. Possibly even the end of February beginning of March. So it will fit around you as this is a uh, group um, reading then it will resonate with many of you and I'm having to do it on a broad scale so to speak because um, it is for so many. So I'm going to start. Now I want to first of all pick up the energy of a male. Now this possibly could be someone from the past, it could be someone that you've just had dealings with, this is a person that's very very money minded um, so money uh, plays uh, quite a role in the energy of uh, what the end of February, beginning of March is all about. Um, or business dealings, stuff like that, official money type projects, business dealings, or having to um, um, deal with a business person. So... It's almost like I want to say that there is some minor conflict with this business scenario, with this either business business meeting, with this money type orientated thing, which has stemmed from a male aspect. So it might be the old peridium, the, the old blueprint of the masculine sort of running the world type thing. Um, also, so it's again, I want to say I'm doing this on a broad aspect. So just feel into it. There will be something here which will represent what's going on for you. So this, again, it could be someone way past or someone you're having to deal with right now or have just dealt with who is a business type person who's quite money minded, wants to do well. Now, now, the energy around now, this again, this is partly to do with this person that you have dealt with. It's had a, a he has had a knock on effect in some way with you. So right now, um, and literally, it doesn't matter when you watch this video, energy is moving and frequency is moving all the time. It will represent something for you at the time you watch it. So it doesn't matter if you watch it sort of three weeks into March, it will still resonate with you in some way because that's how energy works. So yes, right now, I'll get back to the reading. There are battles or minor upsets or arguments and things going on around you. So it's not necessarily you being involved in it, but there's things going on around you. So it's almost like the energy of um people still going through some stuff you know still clearing out stuff still dealing with emotional things um and yes it can be arguments it can be upsets but i want to say all of this that is happening whether it's to you or around you or you're witnessing it with someone else in the family or someone who's a close friend or something you're witnessing them going through all this stuff. It's part of all of your growth. All of us are on this journey to grow and learn more about ourselves. And my thoughts are with this is I want to tell you that you are being supported. Now, even though it doesn't may not feel like it you actually are being supported and if for some reason there is something coming up that you really really want or you're disappointed that you didn't get it again it could be something to do with a business thing or to do with money so it could be work business in, in any aspect like that and there's something that you really really wanted and you may not get it this is all to do with what's going on you are fully supported you, I want to say to you that the reason you don't get this thing that you are really wanting right now is because there is something better coming. The cards are telling me this. So you may feel that you've lost out, you've missed out, 
that actually I want to say to you, you really haven't, but you will know further down the track. It may be a few months down the track. It may be a couple of years down the track that you will be able to look back at this situation and say to yourself, thank goodness I did not actually do that or go into that business deal or do that business thing or get that job or whatever it is that you're really, really wanting because I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now if I had done that then. So everything is happening for a reason. So even though you may feel disappointment, you may feel like you've lost out on something or you've missed out on something, please believe me, you actually haven't. It's just this scenario has happened to help you change direction slightly. That's all. And then the last card that has come out after the lost card is the Seven of Swords. That's your hopes, dreams, wishes, dreams coming true. And actually, you're on the right path. So it's almost like the universe, your team are going to slightly deflect you off of where you've got in your mind that you want to go because it's not the right path for you. I do also want to say, while I'm speaking about this, please be careful of your belongings. Please be careful of your belongings. So that may be that you may lose something that's dear to you. So be careful of your purse, your wallet. Um, be careful of leaving things lying about in public places so other people can't take them. So keep an eye on your gear, I want to say, as well. So it's, it's a funny old time coming up. Definitely a change of direction slightly from what you really, really wanted or you hoped for. But please don't be disheartened. I really, really, really know that you are being guided. You've got the Ace of Cups that's come up. So it's like an emotional thing that you haven't, um, you know, achieved what you wanted to achieve or you haven't done what you've wanted to do. But actually, this card also represents you are being supported and a helping hands are coming in to help you. So please don't be disheartened. And we end on this high note of the Seven of Swords, your hopes, dreams and wishes coming true. So when this event happens and you feel disappointment, please know in your heart of hearts that actually there's something better coming for you. And that's why you have perhaps haven't done this or didn't win this business deal or didn't get this job that you really wanted. It's because there's something better coming. So I want to say to you that the Seven of Swords is a high vibration card. So um, it's literally of you walking away with what you want. So hold on to that thought. You will walk away with what you want in the future. So your everything that is happening to you is guiding you along the pathway. So if you happen to stray off or go towards this area and you're not perhaps meant to be going towards that area, something will be created just to bring you back on the pathway again. And if you look back at your past, you will probably see that, that there have been many times when you've either wanted to do something else or you've gone towards doing something else and it hasn't worked out and you've come back on to the pathway that you were meant to be on. It's just a bit like that at the moment. There are still uh, frequencies and energies up in the air. It's still people have got that feeling of being stuck, that feeling of waiting for something to happen. You're not sure what it is. Many, many, many of us are feeling this. It's almost like we're waiting for some event to happen. We don't know what it is. We feel it coming. It doesn't necessarily going to be a negative event. It's just an event. Um, and Try not to feel stuck if you're feeling this. Just go with the flow. Just, you know, keep on moving through with your life in the direction that gives you joy and gives you pleasure and um, that really raises your frequency. That's the most important thing is to try not to get down in the dumps or anything, but actually go towards things that bring you joy to keep your frequency up. Also, another thing to keep your frequency up is creating something. So that could be doing some form of artwork, 
cooking and creating a, a masterpiece in the kitchen and other people enjoying eating it, um, helping someone in the street. You're creating good energy, good vibes, and you've helped someone. There's many, many, many ways of sharing and creating this good feeling, this, ju this joy. You can do it by creating a painting, making something. If you're good at dressmaking or anything like that, if you're good at knitting, even seeing that all come together, it's a feeling of inner joy as you have actually created something that also brings joy to others. So please, please, please have, I'm going to post this up sort of now, so it's going to be towards the end of February, beginning of March. Again, I hope to do more of these. Uh, please bear with me. They're worth waiting for once I actually get to do them. And I hope this has helped you, guide you. Remember again to hold on to your possessions. Keep your eye on things. Don't leave things lying about because you don't want to put temptation in other people's way. So lots and lots of love. Take care. If you'd like to know about my other services I offer, I do quantum light activations. They are extremely powerful. They will raise your frequency. They will open your higher consciousness. They will trigger your DNA and open your cellular structure. So really light up your light body. I also do tarot readings one-on-one -on -one for people. And I also do healing sessions. So if you would like to know more of what I do, please go to my website. That's www.ginnyjoneshealing.com. Lots of love. Keep that high vibe. Do things that bring you joy. Take care. Bye.